Okay, we're going to look at solving a system of three equations, three unknowns, and here are the equations. If we take those equations and split the coefficients, that's the numbers in front of the variables, into a matrix, and on the right side, the constants, and split that into a matrix, we have a coefficient matrix, which we're calling M1 here, the variable matrix, which is our x, y, z, and our constant matrix, which is the negative 5, negative 36, negative 13, calling that M2 in our DCAS matrix calculator. So you could double check by uh, manually multiplying each row times each column, and it will regenerate the system of equations above. After we enter the M1 and M2 into the matrix calculator on DCAS, we take the inverse of M, which is going to basically change it to the identity, and if we do that on both sides of the equation, we have our result would be our X, Y, Z matrix equal to the inverse of matrix 1 times matrix 2, which would be our solution matrix. Carrying that out, we get 5, negative 4, 1, which really means that our x is equal to 5, our y is equal to negative 4, and our z is equal to 1. Now what does that look like? Well, two equations with two unknowns basically are lines on the coordinate plane. Three equations with three unknowns is basically planes that intersect in three-dimensional space. So here we have some still pictures of those three equations from different views in three-dimensional space. But let's look at what it looks like in real time. I have the three equations graphed in three-dimensional space and my three axes are X, Y, and Z. And I also identified the common point of intersection which we found out was 5, negative 4, 1, x is 5, y is negative 4, and uh, z is 1. And so we can look at that from a lot of different angles. Now, just like two lines in the coordinate plane could run parallel, here the uh, planes could not intersect at one point and we do have this common point of intersection. 